Hey guys, welcome back on OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today's we are going to demonstrate you how to configure Oracle Data Guard 19C with PDB CDB concept. But before starting my tutorial, I have only one request as usual to everyone. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel OCP Technology and press the bell icon so that you will get my all the notifications. Guys, in this video, I am going to follow this document which already published on the official website of ocptechnology.com. So I suggest you also follow this document for your practice environment. I am damn sure you will be successfully building your data guard environment in Oracle 19C with the PDB CDB concept. To practicing this environment, we need two machines with the same configurations which have a same OS installations and as well as same the Oracle 19C installations. So primary machine has a Oracle 19C installation with the PDB CDB database and standby database have only the 19C binary. So if you don't know how to install the Oracle 19C and how to create a PDB CDB database in the 19C that video I already uploaded on the, my channel. You will get these videos link also in the video description or i button one more thing both machines should be communicating to each other using the ping command you can check both machine is communicating or not i have already completed with the machine configuration with the uh, os configurations with the oracle 19c installations so let's move forward with the fourth step which is the data guard configurations so without wasting your time let's move the computer screen and start the practically this is my primary machine and this is my standby machine. Let's start from the primary side. Step 1. Enable database in archive log mode and force logging enable. Let me do it and just follow me. Let me show you first database name and its role. And what is the Archelo mode status right now? The database is running in no Archelo mode currently. So let me change the database mode and force logging mode quickly. You just follow me step by step. Okay, finally our force logging and archive mode is enabled now for our primary database. Let's see what is the next step. Okay, step 2 create standby data log files. Before creating a standby data log files, let me check the current data log files locations so that I can create these standby data log files on the same location. Okay, this is our current online data log file location. So let me create the standby data log files on the same location also. Done. It is completed now. Using the following command, you can check online and standby data log files details. Okay, step 3, create TNS entry for both primary and standby. Let me create a TNS file for both primary and standby. 
just copy the code from the document and paste in the tlsname.ora change your host name and your database name as per your environment so my tns file is created now let me create same file on the standby side or you can copy let's create listener.ora file on the primary side and standby side also do not forget to change your environment details in the files done After creating a TNS name dotora and listener dotora, let's start the listener on both sides. Perfect. Let's try to check TNS ping is working or not. Yeah, perfect. standby tns is not working in my case i'm um, troubleshooting it and i found the firewall is not accepting the tns ping because it is enabled let me disable the firewall first using the following steps you can see firewall is running right now so let me stop it the firewall and disable it you have to perform these actions on both side primary and standby Now try to TNS ping. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Now our TNS ping is successfully completed from production side. Let me check it on the standby side also. Perfect it is working fine now next step is we need to configure these parameter on primary side let me copy all these parameter one by one and do not forget to change your environment okay let me do it quickly so just follow me carefully Perfect. Here's the command which can show you all the configured parameters. Okay, now copy the password file from primary to standby side. Okay, let me do it. Here's the password file. Okay, it's done. Now we need to rename this password file on the standby side. Come on the standby side and rename it. My standby database name is DZDR. So I need to rename it DZDR. Let's enable the FRA on primary side. Let me check first the FRA status. You can see FRA is disabled. So let's enable it using the following commands. Let me create a FRA directory first inside the u01 app and then set the location for the fra perfect fra is configured so finally our primary side configuration has been completed now now we need to check data file and audit file location so that we can create the same directory structure on the standby side 
Now I need to create a directory structure at standby side. So for data file for a pluggable database. So let me do it quickly. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. During this configuration, if you are facing any issue, please write in the comment box. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Enjoy the video. Okay, perfect. Now just copy and paste these directories on the standby side. Okay, done. Now directory has been created on a standby side. Next step is a create a P file for standby. So you have to create the P file on the default location, which is for the SP file. So let me create it inside the Oracle home DBS folder. and add these two parameter only first one is your uh, database name and second one is for pluggable database now set the environment and try to start the standby database startup no mount p file is equals to p file path if you created the p file on the default location which is the sp file location then you do not need to put the p file location here i'm just giving here for your reference only okay now database has been started now connect with the rman using the auxiliary keyword with the primary and standby name And this is the code which I need to run on our man. So first of all, I'm just going to copy this code on the notepad and change it as per my environment. And then I will be executed. So let me do it quickly. and then just copy and paste on the rman prompt and then hit enter it will take few minutes to complete so till then i'm going to fast forward my video perfect it is completed successfully now exit from the rman prompt and login into the standby database and then open the standby database Finally, it is open. Let's check what is the current background process is running for the standby machines. You can see RFS is running. That means our data record is working perfectly. Let's check the database role also. See, this is physical standby and read only mode. Okay. The following command which is enable the MRP process. So let me run it. Perfect. Let's check the MRP is running or not. Okay, great. Congratulations. Your MRP process is running there. Okay, so again check read only with apply is working perfectly. Now our standby and primary is configured successfully with the pdb cdb concept you can see this is my uh, primary database name is a digital and its detail let me show you the pdbs here's the one pdb which is the shri so let me connect with the pdb and open it read write mode Currently the PDB is in the mount mode. So let me open it. Perfect. For testing purpose, let me create a schema inside the pluggable database and then create a table inside that schema and then check the changes is reflecting on the standby side or not. Okay. So let me do it quickly.
see table or view does not exist here so let me switch log and check see now changes is reflecting on the standby side guys i hope you really learned something from this video if yes please write your feeling in the comment box and don't forget to like and share this video and very most important don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel ocp technology see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye